Hey, what's up everybody? This is The Sensational coming at you with my first toy review. And today we are going to be looking at the Transformers Classics Voyager Class Optimus Prime. And this guy's amazing. Now, first, oh my god, my bad, I am so sorry. I'm using a art stand for this, so let me get an actual tripod. So, first off, I've wanted this guy ever since I was little. I saw him in Walmart once, and my mom was like, No, son, you can't have him. We already bought you a Transformer this week. And, of course, it was the 2007 crap Camaro Bumblebee from the first Transformers movie. But I saw him in Walmart, and I was like, Mommy, can I have him? She was like, No. And I've just never had him. Well, now I do. I bought him off of eBay for about $40. And though he has some wear and tear, he's a well-loved toy. I love him. I love him so much. Um, so, he rolls really well. His wheels are amazing. Um, not too much robot. Like, at all. I mean, you could kind of consider this kibble, but, you know, who cares? There's a little paint splotching, as you can see here. The camera will focus. But yeah, there's some paint splotching and some paint wear. And he still has the rub symbol, which is nice. He came complete, no packaging now, which kind of stinks. So for vehicle size comparison, here he is with the Combiner Wars smokescreen. I think they look nice together. Here he is with Lego. Customized, that I customized myself, Batman v Superman, Batmobile. And here he is with the General Lee. So, um, vehicle mode looks like a futuristic cab over with a wind vane, which, as when I was little, I was like, that looks gross, but you know, it's kind of grown on me. And plus, if you didn't have the wind vane, You'd have visible head syndrome, and the smokestacks would be way too tall. So it's nice that they have that. So, uh, let's get... Hold on, I've got to get one of my comparisons. I forgot to get one of the comparisons. And I forgot to get another comparison. Oh my gosh. First video troubles. Okay. And here he is with the last night barricade. Moving right along here. Let's get down to transformation. Okay, so first thing you want to do with this guy. Pop these off. Set those aside. We'll get down to the actual figure. Now the first thing I always do, transform this guy, take these panels. I sort of have a uh, thing on the side of his leg here. That just sort of and they cover up the wheels. Everything on the other side. And flip up the feet. You're gonna take it and pull down. Take his kneecaps and flip them up. Let's see if we can move the camera up. And that we can. Okay, so. Hold on, let me just situate them here. Perfect. I'm going to take these and split them. I'm going to force them forward. Like that. Now, we are going to rotate this up, get it out to the side so you can see. I'm going to flip the hand down, pull it out, rotate it until this yellow bit shows. I'm going to pull that panel down. Pull it around, turn it to the side. Situate it. Do the exact same thing with the other one. So now that you have those done, I'm going to take this back piece here, pull it down, and then you're going to okay, there we go. 
pull up his head, turn around, take it and twist that up, and fold it all back down. Set his head back. Beautiful light piping on this guy. So we're going to take him and spin him at the chest. It's fully turned around. Now some people like to leave it like this. I personally lift up the grill and fold the bumper in. That's the official way to do it. And it honestly, it sort of cleans them up a little bit. Now I split the legs. And we are done. Woohoo, yeah. Oh, wait, we got guns. Let's set him back here. Now, these are his smokestacks, and these turn into his ion cannon, I'm guessing. So, on the inside, see these? These two thingies right here? I'm gonna flip those out. It's gonna become sort of a magazine. You're gonna take these, pull them down. Ta da! You have his ion cannon. And they slide right. Oh my god. You know what? Just we'll get to that in just a second. I'm gonna take his wind bane. Now mine has sort of a problem. I don't know if everybody's had has this, but when I Alright, so first, well, I'm gonna take it and I'm gonna split it. And I'm gonna push them together, pull that up, and pull out the barrel. Now mine likes to do that, like you can barely touch it and it'll just flop. Looks like these are too small to uh, properly hold it together. So what I do is just split it a little bit and it holds better. Now here are the two guns. Here's more of a SMG-ish assault rifle looking thing. And here's like a huge blaster. And they just plug right into his hands. If I can... There we go. So now he can hold his blasters, which I really think are cool. Now, he does have problems. First of all, nobody really cares about this anymore, but the arm kibble. Yeah. It's, it doesn't bother me as much as I thought it would when I got him in hand. Um... But, you know, who cares? Eh, sacrifices had to be made. And plus, you can always just modify it. The bumper doesn't bother me too bad. You know, it really doesn't bother me. It kind of makes his silhouette a little ugly. But you know what? Sacrifices had to be made. The feet are... They don't move whatsoever, so he's a, it can be a little irritating to stand. And he can wobble a bit. He's he's pretty pretty good. Now on to posability. He has no ball joint, it's a swivel. So his head can look left and right. I am not a Jobby the Hong knockoff, mind you. His arms go all the way around, and it's interesting. I haven't seen anything like this before, um, except on this toy. Uh, I have seen it incorporated after, but never before. He has this unique shoulder joint that doesn't move the shoulder itself, but it moves what's inside. Now this has been done with the uh Ultra Maximus, um, not a third party IDW Masterpiece Optimus Prime. They did a similar thing and they did, also did it with Op X, another Masterpiece style IDW Optimus Prime. The shoulders, 90 degrees with a ratchet joint. No movement in the hands. People, um, I don't know what people think. You know, people are always rotating about the chest, but he actually has a waist wall. And I've never seen anybody mention the waist swivel. It, 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 I don't know why. His legs go that far. That far back. His leg can go that far. A little over 90 degrees. And for transformation purposes, foot can move. Um. You can get some pretty decent poses out of him. And I like to use the head transformation joint to kind of get, like, okay, looking down. And oh my god, that light piping. Like, oh my god. Well, 
I love it. I love it so much. Um, they took a lot of chances with this mold. They, um, they pretty much just modernized him. And he looks great. One thing that bothers me, the yellow on the crest. What? I like the blue on the shoulders. That's very unique. And the black vents look nice. I usually see gray. Now for robot comparisons. Here he is with the RAD15 2015 Bumblebee. Get out of here. Here he is with the The Last Night, aka the Age of Extinction repaint. Bumblebee. Future review, maybe? I don't know. Kill yourself. Here he is with the best Age of Extinction Voyager Evasion Mode Optimus Prime. Here he is with the last night <sighs> leader class Megatron. Oh my god. Again, first video troubles. Need to get an actual tripod. And here he is with Marvel Legends, Ben Riley, Spider Man. Overall, pretty good thing. The painting does chip slightly, but nothing to worry about. It's mostly molded plastic. It's very durable, very solid in most places. He, um, yeah, these are a little loose. Yeah, I forgot to talk about his problems. I don't like that he doesn't have an up and down head joint, but, you know, fake. Head joint. Uh, his joints are a little tight in the legs. For some reason, this side is a lot more loose. This side takes a little more force. Don't understand that. It might just be my copy. I don't know. But there you have it. Now, I will most likely be posting these either every week or every month. Dunno. I want to do other things besides horror reviews. Like maybe art stuff, you know. Oh, yeah, did I mention? I can draw. I can draw everybody. Oh my god. Let me search through my school books to find some art. Ay, ay, ay. Oof. Yeah. There's Scooby-Doo. So yeah, if you like this video, you don't have to do anything. Feel free.